In a quiet neighborhood of Port-au-Prince, a group of young actors are going through their lines. Hey, Stephanie, suspend, suspend. It's a passionate affair and with good reason. Okay, tout le monde est là. This team of writers, actors and directors produce more than a dozen radio shows every month that aim to entertain and educate their audience. One of the biggest issues they write about at Zukutap, which means to limp, is child slavery. And the show's director says they've recorded scenes both powerful and disturbing. I had goosebumps listening to that and that's horrible, but this is why we're here. To have people face the reality and uh, really realize how, how hard it is. In Haiti, radio is a dominant medium and the show reaches well over a million listeners. The idea is that this is a soap opera for social change and those involved say it's working. Actress Martine Fidel tells us many listeners never miss a show, play close attention to the plot lines and understand the message behind the drama. In a country where childhood slavery is a huge problem, that may just save lives. It's estimated there were almost a quarter of a million child slaves in Haiti, many of whom were sold by their own families. But thankfully, there are places of refuge for those who've escaped and can be safe. For those who do manage to break the bonds of slavery, there is an obvious sense of relief. But the lives they left behind are a constant reminder of a shameful problem. Child slavery is very hard because you have to do all the domestic work, the cooking, the cleaning and everything else. They treat you badly. You're working on before everyone and forced to stay up later than everyone. And if one day you speak out, you get cursed at and badly beaten. This kind of serial drama has never been broadcast in Haiti before and it's hard to quantify the success of a show that's only been on the air for a couple of years. But its producers say they now have a loyal audience and a powerful voice in the fight against childhood slavery. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Oui, c'est ça.